Super skinny eight and a half stone Kevin, who's got no time for proper meals, has swapped diets with super sized 26 stone Julie. It's their first night in the feeding clinic, and Kevin's dinner is about to get super sized. Do you like orange? Oh, is that what I'm getting? <laughs> Kevin's dinner is his pub special four orange juices. So I've got to have four of these. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Will he chow down on Julie's pie and mash? And will Julie quench her hunger with just two pints of orange juice? Come on, get stuck The plate's in. just really full. Yeah. It's just too much bloody food on the plate. All this food swimming around in mountains of gravy. You need to start getting some weight on you. Kevin might think there's too much food on his plate, but he should be enjoying his mash because it can be a powerhouse of nutrients. It contains valuable vitamins and minerals, including potassium, which is important for the proper functioning of all cells and nerves. Whatever your weight, mashed potato is a low-fat, quick and cheap way of eating something healthy that will fill you up till your next meal. Well, I'm on number two now, my orange juices for my dinner. <laughs> so I've got half a plate of mash here yeah. as well. <laughs> well, I'd rather have half a plate of mash than be on my second orange juice for my dinner. I can't believe that. For his dinner, he would have a drink, but four orange juices for his dinner. It, it totally amazes me. <sighs> you finished now, then? Yeah. I feel really bloated, and my stomach sort of hurts a little bit, and I feel like I've still got a bit of potato at the back of my throat or something. Um, so... Not that all pleasant. Day two begins with an early snack for Kevin. One tea with three sugars and three rounds of toast with full-fat butter and jam. But this is only Julie's first breakfast. Breakfast number two is a belly-busting two crumpets with butter and jam and a bowl of sugar puffs with full-fat milk. How much food? And for Julie, who's still waiting for her first proper meal of the diet swap, there's only a bar of chocolate. I wonder what my next bit of food is going to be. Lunch brings some hope for Julie as Kevin cooks up his signature dish. For me, this toasted sandwich with scrambled egg in the middle mm. is absolute heaven. Unbelievable. You are way under eating. And you're a man as well. You should way be eating more than this. Sandwich. For Kevin, it's more carbs. A white bread sandwich with full-fat cheddar cheese and, oh, a little salad. It's the first thing you would have eaten, then, in two days. I just would have thought this meal would have been a lot bigger. But you've rolled that down. Well, it's the first thing I've eaten in two days. And I didn't even enjoy it. 37-year-old Julie has two older sisters. They all live close by and regularly meet up for meals out. Do you know she eats too much? If she's happy, she eats. If she's sad, she eats. <laughs> it's just the way she is. But I don't, yeah, I don't know where that comes from, really, because we've all been brought up the same. My other two sisters, you know, they're older, but they're very, you know, quite glamorous and athletic and, you know, uh, into going out and um, they like looking nice and they go out clothes shopping and, you know, I would never do that with them. How many calories are you doing a day? Let's I don't know. I mean, this is like... It's a week's meal there, a week's calories. I feel for her sometimes because I know that she wants to be slim. She's never been slim. But it's still how you feel inside, isn't it? You, you know, you're always, like, looking round and you always feel conscious and... Do you? Yeah. For Kevin, who's now on Julie's diet, the food keeps coming. Julie's snacks alone are over 1,200 calories a day. Next up, Kevin faces a three-course dinner. So what have I got for dinner tonight? For orange juice and lemonade again. Unbelievable. For Kevin, he's facing the meal of his life. Julie's prepared some of her old favourites, stuffed potato skins, chicken and chips, and a spotted dick and custard. It tastes really nice, this actually. Mm. Despite another liquid dinner for Julie, she's still able to show Kevin some motherly love. I really can't believe, Kevin, you're not having a dinner again. This isn't a diet, is it? This is starvation. It was another night when I was working at the pub. This isn't normal, Kevin. You know what I mean? But nothing, you're but because of, my excuses. No, it's not because of my yeah. lifestyle, I physically can't. Oh. Rubbish. Is this because you're... 
a little bit hungry though as well. Do you know what it have. is? Because you're winding me up. I'm not making excuses. Right, do you want your other thing that you can have? Well, no, because this is my dinner, isn't it? No, you've got another surprise oh, as well. Um, you don't drink, but I can offer you anyway. At the end of my shift anyway, right, yeah. I would get a Blue Wicked. Would you like one? Oh, I don't know. I don't, well, that's not food, is it? Why not treat yourself? Right, so you would have four oranges and lemonades and then one of them. I can't believe that a grown man would eat one scrambled egg sandwich all day with a treat of a bottle of alcohol when he hasn't eaten all day. How is that a treat? A treat is a big fat cream cake. That it's ain't not. a treat. I think it's, it's a joke. Kevin leads a really hectic life, but he lives on around half his recommended calorie intake. Right, Kevin, come along with me. I'm hoping that the photo gallery will show him that his under-eating will have serious consequences on his body. What do you think? My bone there and the bone there really sticks out on that picture. You don't have great skin, do you? No. You have no fresh fruit and vegetables whatsoever. You have virtually no vitamin C on your diet, apart from that occasional orange juice, you know, after you've finished work. I yeah. think when I get you on this proper balanced diet, you will actually see your skin really improve dramatically, which should make you a lot happier. If you are under eating, you could increase your chances of getting acne, as you could be missing out on zinc and vitamin C. What about these pickies? Not a lot of flesh on you, is there? You know, I know there's a look, and there's a look to be slim, but this is gone a little bit too far, wouldn't you say? Yeah. I mean, you have a really busy lifestyle. You're working two jobs, but you're going to need some energy to get you through that long term. You know, if you get ill, what's going to happen? Being severely underweight may mean you have a weaker immune system that can leave you susceptible to other illnesses. I think this is the worst picture because you're just so incredibly slim. There's nothing there, is yeah. there? I mean, this one really alarms me seeing this one up big because obviously you can see where my bone is there, my veins are really, really prominent. Your veins are really prominent because you have absolutely no body fat whatsoever. It is just skin there, isn't it? Look how you can see. It's when it's actually in a big picture like that that you actually... You realise. You realise how bad it really is. I mean, I think perhaps in your head you think you only need to put on a couple more pounds or something, but... I'm thinking you can do well to put on a couple of stone and you will still look slim, but you won't look unhealthy and really underweight. Back in the feeding clinic, another day brings breakfast and Julie uses her motherly persuasion to get Kevin to eat proper meals and presents him with a full English fry-up. But do you ever have a fry-up? Yeah, but really, really, very rarely. So this is like what I've got for breakfast, eight biscuits. You sit there and eat eight biscuits, could easily put a couple of bits of toast in or put, do yourself a bowl of cereal. But as usual, you're sitting there eating every single bit. Look at it, and you wonder why the size that you are. But you're still eating it. I'm not saying, I'm, it's not about me for a second. Mm. You just, say this, but every single morning you've had really like full meals first thing in the morning. And you, you, know do, do you wonder why the size you are, no, though? Do you know what? By why? And every single morning you've eaten it. So have you enjoyed that then? It's all right. Yeah. Enjoy your biscuits. If someone cooked you three or four meals a day, you would sit there and eat every one of them. No? Can we stop? I need the toilet. I don't mean to moan at him. He can moan at me just as much for being the size I am, but I just think he needs to understand that, um... He's got to stop making them excuses first. You all right? Yeah, have you finished your breakfast biscuits, yeah? No, nearly. Have I upset you? No, 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 no. I just need... No. What's the matter? Nothing. Serious? What's the matter? Is it hitting home a bit? Yeah. It did become quite intense this morning. I did feel as though I wanted to go home, but I then, at the back of my head, remembered that I've come here for a reason and, and with a goal and with the name of what I want to achieve from this. I am realising about myself and realising that I am after going to make some changes when I do go back home to my own life. You know, in 
in three days, I've worked out I've had eight bourbon biscuits and a scrambled egg sandwich. Coming up, starvation kicks in for Julie. Uh, while Kevin literally explodes on yet more food. Unbelievable.